4a grammar conditional sentences types 1 and 2 if you don't water plants they die this is what happens if you don't water plants they die if you move I'll shoot you this is what will happen if you move if you move I'll shoot you if I had the money I would buy a car I wouldn't walk if I had the money I don't have the money but if I had the money I would buy a car the word if 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 is creating a condition what is a condition a condition means something has to happen first for other things to happen this has to happen you have to not water plants and if you do that they die a condition now look with me you don't water water is a verb not a noun okay you don't water plants that means you don't give water to the plants you don't water is in the present simple tense present simple if you forgot what present simple is please watch module 1a grammar to learn more about the present simple they die also Present simple, okay? Now look here. You move. This is also present simple. What about I'll shoot you, I will shoot you? This is future will. Now look here. I had the money. I had. Had is the past of have. This is past simple. We could use would or could and a verb in the base form I would buy I would go now you must be asking yourself why did we use present simple present simple here in both clauses while we used present simple in the if clause here and future will in the main clause and we used past simple in the if clause with if and the main clause we used would or could and the verb in the base form why now pay attention listen in here we are talking about a general truth it is true that if you don't water plants if you don't give them water they die it is true general truth this is what we call zero conditional you use if or when you can say when you don't water plants they die or if we use present simple for both clauses okay what about here this is something probable it's likely to happen don't move if you move I'll shoot you it's not like this it's not general truth we can use future will modal verbs like can may might must should we say if you move i must shoot you that is also correct we can use imperative sentences like what like if you go to the supermarket buy some milk buy imperative if you go to the supermarket buy some milk what about here the man is imagining the situation he doesn't have the money if he had the money he doesn't have it he would buy a car something unreal or imaginary situations we use past simple with the if clause would or could and the verb in the base form in the main clause got it okay had is a verb what if we don't have a verb if we have an adjective like rich we say if I were rich we usually 
use was with he, she, it, and I. I am rich. I was rich. But with unreal or imaginary situations, we use were with I, he, she, and it. If he were rich, if he or if she were rich, she would buy a nice car. If I were you means if I am in your place. If I were you, I would take the bus. Again, not if I was you. We use were because actually he is never going to be someone else. He will always be himself. This thing is imaginary, unreal. We use were, not was, okay? Look here, we're using if with not, if you don't water. We can change this and put unless, and it will give the same meaning. You can say if you don't water plants, or unless you water plants, they die, okay? Now, we agreed that we have two clauses, two parts. One, if you don't water plants. Two, they die. You can start with this part. You can say, plants die if you don't water them. Notice that we don't have kuma. You need kuma every time you start with the if clause. You need kuma. In here, we can say, I'll shoot you if you move without using the comma. In here, we could say, I would buy a car if I had the money, with no comma. Okay? Now, we are ready for practice. Complete the dialogues with the correct form of the verbs in brackets. Hi, Jack. What are you up to? What are you doing? I'm just doing some research about climate change. Climate is the typical weather in a certain area. How the weather is changing. Did you know that if the planet continue to get warmer, hotter, the polar ice caps, polar ice caps are thick layers of ice in the pole, North Pole or South Pole, will melt, melt transforms from solid to liquid from ice to water. Look again, if the planet continue to get warmer, the polar ice caps will melt. Which situation is this? Zero, conditional type one or type two. This is something probable, likely to happen. If this continues, we use present simple with F. We add S to the verb continue, Y, this is present simple. We do this with he, she, and it. We're talking about the planet. If it continues to get warmer, the polar ice caps will melt. Future will. I guess that's obvious. That's clear. After all, in the end, if you heat ice, it melt. What situation is this? What do you think? If you heat ice, it melt. This is a general truth. It is true. If you heat ice, it melts. We add S again. It. If you, you, we don't add S here. If you heat, it melts. I bet when you bet, you put your money on something. I bet you don't know what causes climate change. I know that burning fossil fuels Fossil fuels is like petrol, gas. Burning it increases the planet's temperature. That's right. And if we not use alternative sources of energy, okay, now we use fuel, gas for energy. We need to use alternative sources like uh, electricity or even sun power. That is alternative something instead more we destroy the planet this is something probable conditional sentences type one if we present simple don't use alternative sources of energy we will destroy the planet if people 
think about the environment more they find ways to make things better okay which situation is this this is an imaginary situation we're just imagining this if people thought the past of think if people thought about the environment more they would find ways to make things better hi michael i like your new car thanks but it's not actually mine it's not my car i'm taking part in an experiment taking part participating in an experiment scientific test this car runs on electricity it doesn't use petrol it doesn't use gas so it doesn't cause pollution pollution is like carbon monoxide in the air scientists asked a number of volunteers volunteers are people who work for free to try the cars out for a month hmm that's interesting yes there are some disadvantages though if the battery run out means finishes then the car stop we're talking about something probable here or general truth it is true that if batteries runs out the car stops if it's general truth or if it's something probable you say will stop that's a bit risky dangerous imagine what would happen if the car stops suddenly in the middle of the road we are imagining here imagining past simple if the car stopped in the middle of the road it doesn't work like that the car gives a warning signal it tells you that uh, the battery is very low so you have time to go and recharge the battery fill it with energy if this experiment be successful these cars be on the market in a few years time this is something probable if this experiment is successful these cars will be on the market in a few years time thank you for watching this video if you like it please share it with friends i'll see you again next time inshallah goodbye